that can be abundant. As you rightly said, that the topics have been very diverse, and we have had legendary and very good speakers beforehand. I especially want to congratulate Mr. Santosh Panda for giving a very good and stimulating presentation. If the way he has presented our teacher education would reach where he has started, I'm sure that we as principals in the school who are practicing what is being said here will be very grateful to the government and to organizations like him. So here I'm going to talk about assessment. And the topic, the title which I have given is called Facing the Change and Changing the Face of Assessment, of course. This millennium, as we all know, is about a decade old. And the whole world is whole age, which is changing faster than anybody had ever anticipated. Schools, as we all know, have, were set up around a century ago. And they were always the last place of change. And in fact, the change never took place there till the change was very well settled in the world outside. But the educators started realizing that the system is being worn out. That we all need a freshly new designed system for our schools. A freshly repaired windshield of the purple is no longer relevant. We need to design a model which suits the needs of the present day and prepares us for the future. <coughs> Schools, as we have traditionally understood them, is a place where adults lead the learning and children follow it. Where the teachers teach, children learn, and teachers evaluate them or give them marks. As we have always perceived that it is the teacher who is leading, teacher who is giving the exam, but we need to change the whole thing. And for that, because as if schools are for learning, then as doctors need to understand the anatomy, similarly teachers need to understand the learning. To measure or to learn, that is the question. Because so far, we have always been focused on examination. The learning has been at the back stage. We have always considered assessment as a last step. Whereas I understand that assessment is the first step and not the last step in the process of learning. So what is assessment? Assessment is an integral part of learning, a process of documenting in measurable terms knowledge, skills, attitude and belief. It is of course a very, very crucial link between effective teaching, student learning, learning objectives, learning outcomes and goals. An examination only evaluates what the student knows or does not know. The assessment evaluates what the students need to know in order to succeed in life. All schools try to measure the student's success by the exams. We can perceive our students to be on a train where the end station is the 12th board exam. And the teacher being the engine who is pulling all the bogies along. But I perceive a new model in which students are also given the push by controlling and governing their own learning. And that is what I'm going to present to you just now. Because we have to now take our system away from eva assess uh, evaluation to assessment. Because assessment is ongoing, whereas evaluation is final. Eva uh, assessment is process oriented. It checks how learning is going on, whereas evaluation is product oriented, what has been learned. Assessment is diagnostic. It tries to identify the areas for improvement, whereas evaluation is judgmental, arrives of an overall grade. Assessment is flexible, adjusts as problems are clarified, whereas evaluation is fixed to reward success or to punish failure. Assessment is cooperative, learn from each other, and uh, evaluation is competitive, beat each other. We all by now understand what is summative assessment. It is that we have all traditionally understood that assessment of learning, which is at the end of the term exam. Feedback of learning is given to the teacher and to the parents. It certifies learning and doing right itself, I understand, is a big challenge. But now the trend has shifted from assessment of learning to assessment for learning, which is formative assessment as we understand in the CCE system which is 
Assessment for learning is a process of seeking and interpreting evidence for use by the learner and the teacher to decide where the learner are in their learning and provide them the right uh, feedback and do the diagnostic and take the diagnostic step. But now, I'm introducing here a new approach that is the extended role of assessment for learning to assessment as learning. Now what is assessment as learning? Assessment as learning is where the student comes in the center stage, where he takes the onus of his own learning himself. And assessment does not become only a process of certifying, it is in itself a process of learning. Students are actively engaged and critical assessors and make sense of the information related to the prior knowledge and master the skills involved. So, in assessment of learning, the learning objectives are made clear, the student is aware of the learning objective, uh, outcomes where he is heading and the success criteria or the standards are shared with him or we call them rubrics. So, in the classroom example of that, I would like to share that Daniel the teacher gives a task like, supposing I give you the task, please draw a house. And that's all. Don't talk about yourself, no further instructions are given. Everybody draws a house according to his or her understanding. But the point is, where was the point of the task? The student should know what I was learning. How was I supposed to know what to include? The tree, the sky, the uh, 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 words in it, or the window, or the door. No instructions. Why weren't more instructions given to me? How about sharing the success criteria with us? Could we have created it ourselves? Why weren't we allowed to ask questions in the class? Why didn't we give us some indication of what were you looking for? What does good look like to you? Wouldn't it have been better if we had seen the marks team beforehand, had we shared the success criteria with us? So what are the essential strategies? Questioning. We have to encourage questioning in the class. It enkindles higher order thinking skills, draws out understanding through student's thought process, focus on assessment object ob objectives. And from knowledge of the subject, as our students move on to peer assess. We are focusing now, I'm in a hurry, so shifting some slides, that because I know she will do 10 things very soon. So I'm coming to peer assess, because once we have shared the success criteria with the student, now that they know the marking scheme, now they know how to evaluate each other's work, so they can be made to assess each other's work. And what are the advantages? Peer assessment is not simply evaluating a partner's work. It is used often using success criteria to reinforce the assessor's learning as will give us constructive criticism. So, peer assessment improves motivation. Peer discussion is in the language they understand and use. Peers will question peer marking in a way they rarely do that with teachers and it can inform the teacher about the learning by the group's peer response or by teacher peer marking. Teacher will also get the feedback which informs the student about his own learning. So, from peer assessment, we graduate to the highest rung of the ladder, that is the self-assessment. The self-assessment is the process of self-reflection or monitoring engaged in by the students to provide themselves with the feedback that helps them to see errors, consider alternatives and make adjustments to enhance their performance and to reach the set targets. Now, it seems like the peer self-assessment will be a higher one and only the senior students or those who are self-responsible can do the self-assessment. But giving you an example that which very small children can also use in the classroom, they are all about aware about the traffic lights. So if they use red, green and yellow, they can indicate to the teacher, teacher go ahead, green, I have understood, I have learned. They can always assess their own assessment sheets by putting a green mark on it that I think I have understood and teacher can go ahead and further. And if they put the red part, they indicate to the teacher, I haven't understood, stop and please repeat it again. <coughs> so, the uh, classroom uh, example of traffic lights I have just shared with you. So, self-assessment emphasis on thinking is on thinking and articulating, not writing. It tells you it is good to share. Help creates independent learners. Needs to be related to the learning intention, learning outcome or success criteria but it certainly needs little bit of training and then the learner becomes an independent learner. But must 
have a comfortable learning atmosphere, problems are seen as a way to learn, not as a failure to make students confident, competent self-assessors. If we have to make them lifelong learners, we have to make them self-assessors so that they can govern and direct their own learning. So that they are competing with themselves and not against anybody else. So self-assessment inculcates develop habits of mind, students as creative, critical and self-regulatory assessors, build self-esteem, nurtures lifelong confidence in making judgments and above all, critical and higher order thinking is cultivated through that. So that is why I'm proposing a paradigm shift. What happens is that in most of the schools, the most of the assessment which is being done is assessment of learning. That is the end of the term exam. And that takes the major chunk. I'm not saying that assessment of learning is not a good thing, but we need to strike the right balance. At certain places, when it, we have to make people to make complete, uh, make uh, students compete against each other, assessment of learning is really required. But why should it be the only mode of assessment? So we need to give a larger chunk to assessment for learning, where the feedback is immediate where the child is given a second chance to improve, where he can be taken from where he stands, from where he stands ahead. And of course, another chunk of future which is being uh, presented here is the assessment as learning. Where assessment is considered a tool and child governs his own learning totally and he tries to learn through the assessment. He evaluates only himself, checks the learning gaps and tries to fill those learning gaps. Now, to authenticate whether this works or not, we, uh, uh, we in Police DAB took a uh, research. Uh, uh, and the research, the hypothesis was formed that because many parents would say that this is not done, that with them themselves. So we tried to show that the ultimate aim of every parent or every teacher is to improve the results of assessment of learning, that is, summative assessment. So what we tried to do is that we made a hypothesis that assessment for learning combined with assessment as learning significantly improves the assessment of learning. So a sample of 60 students taken, two students taken of grade 10 were taken and bifurcated in two groups, experimental and the control group. Both groups were exposed as per the experimental paradigm. Uh, and the results were compared in terms of variance, standard deviation or T-ratio for the subjects English, Math, Science and Social Science. And, sorry. and what was the conclusion? The performance of experimental group is better in the semester when they were exposed to uh, assessment as learning than their own assessment of learning in the previous semester. So our hypothesis that assessment for learning combined with assessment as learning significantly improves the assessment of learning stands true. So, I would end with saying that the challenge for educators today is to apply the emerging understanding about learning assessment and evaluation innovatively and with the commitment in productive ways where all the students and not just a few will be assessing, interpreting and applying information, performing critical thinking and analysis independently and among peers with their lateral thinking and on the spiral continuum of progress. Thank you so much. Thank